Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. We have Casey's RC's rack back. Uh, we're going to do a modification to this rack uh, compared to the last time I showed it. Again, if you didn't hear about Casey's RC, go check out his website, www.kcrc.kc. Wow. Uh, I think that what this is a hyphen, not 100% sure, but the small bar in the middle, rc.com. <laughs> I'll try to remember to put a link in the bottom. Uh, basically, these are more uh, rubber foot because I want to add more just to be able to support the vehicle more. But what we're going to install today is this small piece here. Uh, this small puck. Uh, basically, this will go underneath and you'll be able to swivel it side to side. Uh, we do have this action of swivel up and side to side to side instead of having then we'll have be able to turn the vehicle let's say you have your vehicle you'll be able just to turn it instead of trying to move the complete kit uh this is what we're going to install today just going to tighten these down here a little bit more here we go basically in the kit if you do buy this part here it comes with this puck here a nut and a bolt with a washer Super simple. Basically, what we're going to do here is remove this. Take this guy off. We're going to grab this, this piece and we're going to make sure to insert our nut that way it stays inside and just to make sure it doesn't move with my luck, it will this, it's going to fall in between here. I'm sure we're going to screw this guy down here. Yeah, if you're not aware about KC's RC, go check it out. Uh, it does have a Facebook group too, or a page if I remember correctly. It does have a website. He does have awesome parts. And he started to do some aluminum parts for certain racing kits. Uh, I don't think he started doing some for uh, bashers yet. But you never know, he might. If he gets enough enough people to uh, talk about it, you might be able to buy some some parts for your your slash. But I have no clue if he will. Now we're gonna tighten this guy a bit, not too much, because if not, it will prevent your your turning radius. What I you what the other thing you could do if you wanted to is uh, between these two parts you could uh, basically sandwich yourself three pieces uh, with clear Lexan uh, and maybe uh, some cork in the middle it'll be a lot smoother uh, and you won't hear the uh, that's something I probably would do you don't need to if this if you don't mind having this noise but. Now, putting your vehicle on it, super easy to, if you want it, if you do want to work with it, to be able to turn it. And the other thing too, you could basically remove the bottom bolt. And then reinsert it to keep your angle. And let's say you have your vehicle on it. Let's use the drill as an example. 
and you're able to a certain point to be able to use it too. Now for sure if you put your vehicle it's not strapped down or something if you go and for sure it's going to fall but at least yeah but I do like it. Uh, let's remove this bolt put it straight put the nut back that way I don't lose it I'm not looking for it and there you go kcsrc.com uh, like I said he has multiple uh, other car stand like this guy this is made for a fifth scale uh, use a creatine on it it, it worked a next Mac is, it worked uh, even use it as for a boat uh, basically you could put these guys more in the, the corners and your hull will sit in the middle here and it works great multiple use you'd use it he does have some for 110 scale they're a little bit smaller than this guy uh, and he has uh, some RC jumps two models of jumps from her correctly and possibly even three I don't remember I have to go back to his website and check he's located here in Canada in Canada wow Canada can't even say the word Canadian anyway he's Canadian here you go he's from Montreal Quebec go visit his website and if you do leave him a comment where you saw this video DJ's PRC and uh, yeah I would appreciate that thank you for watching if you have any comments or, uh, or concerns yeah if, yeah I have many issues today guys <laughs> If you have comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.